Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Today I will be reviewing the new Citadel Lairs, specifically Lothurn Blue, the new Light Blue, Gehenna's Gold, uh, the new Middle Gold Color, White Scar, the new White obviously, and Iron Breaker, uh, the new Middle Silver Color. As with my other reviews, I will start with color comparability to the old range. We'll be comparing Lothurn Blue with Ice Blue, Iron Breaker with Chainmail, and Gehenna's Gold with Shining Gold. I decided not to compare the whites because they're both whites and they should actually look uh, very similar, which they do. So as you can see in this comparison, Lothurn Blue is actually a little bit darker than Ice Blue. Also, I found that it actually is a little bit thinner as well, which as most of you are aware, the new layers are a little bit thinner than the old color paints. That being said, actually I didn't find it to be too thin at all. With Iron Breaker versus Chainmail, I found the same thing. Iron Breaker uh, is slightly thinner and a slightly different shade. I found it to actually be a little bit lighter than uh, the old Chainmail. And once again with the metals, I found the metallic pigments to be a little bit larger. Though, as I did said before, I didn't actually question the coverage overall. And finally, Gehenna's Gold versus Shining Gold I found to be the largest discrepancy, as Gehenna's Gold actually has a really dark red tinge to it, while Shining Gold tended to be more pure gold. So here are the overall results. As you can see, though Games Workshop has shown a, a conversion chart, it is not a perfect conversion of the old paints to new ones, though they are relatively close. So as these are called layer paints, and a lot of people have been questioning um, how well they go on, my next question was, how well do they layer? And I'll be using this orc to test them. I started out by testing Lothurn Blue on him, um, and I used paint straight out of the pot and to paint um, his bands and his face. And overall, actually, I found it went on really, really well, uh, really smoothly. I did, once again, I found it to be a little bit thinner than the old Ice Blue, but at no point did I ever question, you know, uh, it went on really well. It, it went on well with one coat, in fact. It didn't go on very transparent at all. And as I mentioned, after going over just the primed areas, I figured to test it, I went over his face with the same blue paint to see if it covered really well um, over the green, and I found that it actually did. To test Gehenna's Gold, I used this Force Halberd from a previous review. Just to reiterate what I was saying earlier, you can see here that there's a red tinge over the cup when the, um, when the paint separated. Overall, I found this one to go on once again uh, pretty thin, however not any more thin than the previous old gold metallic uh, paint of Shining Gold. As you guys know by my previous tutorials, I wasn't the hugest fan of that paint because it went on very thin. However, this one went on the usual and uh, yeah, it looked pretty good in the end. Not too bad at all. So next then I wanted to test uh, the silvers. So using Iron Breaker, I just did some edge highlighting and uh, just a little bit highlighting over some parts of his gun and uh, his helmet and his sword just to see how it looks. And I'm, once again, quite happy with how it turned out. As you can see here, it went on very well. It covered the areas very easily, just with a single coat. Um, I wasn't concerned, once again, about the thickness of the paint. Um, I know it is thinner than the old ones, but not substantially to the point where I, it mattered to me. And just to further test it, I decided to try to use the same uh, Iron Breaker paint for dry brushing. So I just wiped off a little bit of it and just did a dry brush. Uh, with a, a different brush obviously over the same areas just to bring out a little bit more of the edge details on all the parts and to give them a slightly older appearance. And as you can see here it turned out pretty nicely. I'm not um, uh, unbelievably but it turned out pretty well. Uh, given the expectations that I have of these paints based on previous comments I was pretty surprised. And the final color I tested was White Scar for the teeth, and I figured if any color would be too thin, it would be the white. And so I tested the white over the, the dark blue of his face and the green of his face on all the teeth. And as you can see here, it turned out really nicely with just a single coat. Um, it went on really well, 
and did a good coverage over these areas. So, in the end, I was actually pleasantly surprised about the quality of the layer paints. So to summarize, first, color comparison. As you could see with the other ones in my reviews, um, these paints are slightly different than the old ones, so it's not a perfect conversion chart from the old to the new. Therefore, if you're already halfway through your army, I'd recommend probably picking up a couple of your old paints and then using these ones to start any new armies that you may have. Secondly, consistency. Um, as many of you have found, I found these ones to be slightly thinner than the old color paints. Uh, they are now designed to go in layers rather than a single coat. However, I wasn't really upset with them. I know they weren't the most amazing coverage of all the paints I've used, but by no means are they very thin to the point where a single coat would look terrible. In fact, I found it looked pretty good in the end. One of the old complaints I remember about the old colors was that they were too thick. Um, and that you had to dilute them to get a good coverage and not show uh, your brush marks, as well as when you're airbrushing. I think that these new lines actually might be really good for airbrushing. I haven't been able to test them out yet, but I think they might be really cool for airbrushing. Third, the choice of colors. Um, I think there are like 70 different colors, uh, though I know a lot of them are just various shades of blue or green or brown, but they also have purples and yellows and oranges. Uh, they have pastels, they have tons of different colors now, uh, GW is produced for this layer range. I really hope that this increase in color leads to a lot of really cool new looking armies, especially for like orcs or tyranids. So overall, what I have to say, um, I was mildly impressed with the layer range. It is by no means my favorite part of the new Citadel range, but I don't feel that it is as terrible as people have been making it out to be. Maybe I'm just more optimistic, uh, maybe I'm not as experienced or something, but I thought, overall, it actually gave pretty good coverage. Um, I do like the fact that it's more diluted, and now for airbrushing, and I don't need to, um, to dilute them anymore. It's pretty nice. Plus, there are some really, really interesting colors out there now. Who knew that pink would make a comeback? So that's it. Stay tuned for more reviews. As always, thank you to all you awesome people out there for watching my videos. You're truly awesome. Please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting everyone.